Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Reality Realness with three S's. If this is your first time on our channel, welcome. We talk about things, reality, TV, and all the gossip and tea that comes along with it. Today, we're going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star 5, the finale. We are crowning the queen. And with me today, up top, we have Mr. Jojo O'Toole. Jojo. That's me. That's me. That's, me. that's you. That's you. <laughs> Say hello. 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 <laughs> and we also have our lovely co host. We have Michael Pez. Sorry, you're down below today. Hi, I'm Michael Pez. I'm down below. <laughs> so, overall thoughts, guys, on the finale of the fact that, thank goodness, it's, it's over. over. <laughs> it's over. Finally. <laughs> Uh, started off strong this season, and then it just kind of swap, 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 swap. Um, yeah, I, overall, I thought the, the finale episode was pretty good. Um, I was happy that it was finishing up. I, I didn't want to be in that mentality, like, I have to watch this, I have to complete this. Um, but I thought all three queens were deserving. I loved their little pillow fight at the beginning. Um, even though it was definitely staged and that little titty slap was funny. Um, yeah, I, I, I would have happily seen any three of, any of the three crowns, personally. Yeah, there was, like I said, I think there was, if there was one, uh, one season where there was, it should be a tie, then I was like, this, there, this is the one. But a three-way tie, that's too many people in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. We have to just crown one. Yeah. So, yeah. especially when you start with such a small amount of people, it's like, yeah. it's like, you can you can cut some people. Um, we never talked about it last week, but the phone call. What do you guys think was going on with the phone call, like last week, and then like how it was resolved today? I think someone just put a lot of shrooms. I don't know what was going on there. Like, I don't, it didn't seem like it was a part of the plot line at all because they were all like, "Who called? I don't know." Okay. Was it Todrick? Was it the the queens behind the glory hole? I think I it's know. the queens behind the glory hole that were Why called. would they be called? I don't know. I didn't get it. It was a missed I, opportunity. Like, we didn't talk about it last week, and I guess it was for good reason, because it actually was <laughs> never resolved. <No. laughs> like, it was like, oh, that happened. Why did yeah. it happen? Who knows? <laughs> like, you know. But it could have been a good moment if, um, if it was well thought out, or maybe it got sure. cut, the, the res resolution of that. Um, so... This was the first time that Juju's name was actually in the box. I didn't actually didn't even realize that she hadn't been voted for all season. And I think is pretty. That's a pretty good stat. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she was up for elimination for until everyone kind of had to be. Um, I wasn't worried for Juju. I mean, I think it's been pretty clear since episode one that these three would probably be the remaining three queens. Yeah. Even with the twist of the voting of, of the players? Well, I think our, yeah. our how we picked was JoJo picked Shay, Pez picked Juju, and then I picked Blair, then I picked Cracker. So, yeah. like, we pretty much knew how this was the going four, down. Yeah. Um, I If any of us started, it would have probably been the same four people that would have been picked in in, a, a in one of those orders. order of some yeah. sort. So... You know, yeah, we, we would have probably taken Shea first. That's probably why. I, well, I was going to take Shea first, yeah. but we were giving the guest, um, the guest, the, the first position, and I was the winner, so I took the last position. <laughs> so you won by default. Yeah. But I mean, yeah. spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> so Juju, up until this point, has had one win. Shea has had two wins, and Miss Cracker has had three wins. Now, how do you feel about those stats? I think report cards matter when it comes down to it. Um, we've also seen in the past where they didn't matter as much. Shay did have a ton of wins in season nine, was going in as a front runner, and you know we all know how that ended. Um, I thought, I mean, Juju B has been around since season two. She's incredibly genuine. She's funny. She's someone you root for. She's made the top three for her third time. Um, there is a winner in her. I think I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been surprised if Miss Cracker or Shay or Juju B won. So I think it was a really strong showing. I think it really did come down to what they had to offer at the at, during the finale itself. 
it was nice to see though that they all want it. They all want to win it. Um, it wasn't like on Gianna being like, oh, people deserve it more than me. Like, no, mm -hmm. they all feel like they deserve the win. And I actually like that energy about the final three. Um, I would have, obviously it wouldn't have happened, but if somebody was just kind of like, oh, I don't know if I deserve to be here, that attitude would not have flown with me. So I'm happy that everybody was like, they were fighting for the crown. They could all taste the crown. <laughs> Jojo, this is sensual. <laughs> um, it was really nice that the fact that like, Juju had made it three times in a row, like to the final three. Cracker had never made it to a finale and Shay had never made a top three, like technically. So it was just like, they were all just so proud to be there. And like, and just listening to everybody else talk about them and hype them up, it was just, it was really nice. <laughs> So that's when the pillow fight happened. I thought that that Cracker was gonna get mad when she got hit in the face, though. Oh. It was it was kind of kind of vicious, but uh, she didn't, which is good. Yeah. So the past queens um, from the season, they run into the workroom and they go and hide behind your favorite spot, JoJo, the glory hole. <laughs> yeah. So was this the resolution for the phone call? I guess. It. Oh. I didn't see a connection between the phone call and the queens behind the door. Glory Calling all queens. All. Yeah, but no, I didn't see the connection whatsoever. <laughs> Me neither. It was just like they different. had this big prop. What was the point of the like the glory hole? Like, couldn't they just like put them in a box? Yeah, or, I don't know. Like, or had them all be in there, like dressed to the nines? It was like they were also all out of drag, so it fe felt a little like uh, it was like a reunion, but they and were kind of like I cram it in really fast. I was worried that, like, I didn't want the final three queens to talk badly about anybody behind the wall. Like, I really just didn't want that kind of drama. Like, I'm happy that it didn't really happen. Yeah. Um, but I think, was that what they were going for? I just, like, it, all of it wasn't well thought out, in my opinion. No. And then there was, like, the tongue. In it's like, obviously, so something's happening over there. Yeah. I feel like if I went in, though, I would have just, like, walked over and looked behind it. You're like, what's happening? Yes. Oh, hi, everyone. I did Not chuckle at the, oh, white girl, you go first yeah. <laughs> to come out from behind the door. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I've watched Scary Movie and, yes. like, you know, they make fun of the fact that, like, the black person always gets killed first. Yes. Like, the white person never dies. They make it no. to the end. They're just crawling their way out of every hole, like, or whatever. Yeah, yeah unless, you're, unless you're Brandy, and I still know what she did last summer. She survived. Spoilers. Finally. You know, I watched that, but I don't remember that oh, movie yeah. really. I love Brandy. I love that movie. When I was but, younger, people people thought I looked so much like Brandy that when I was about seventeen or so, that people would ask me for her like my autograph. That's <laughs> Brandy, cute. So I just fucking sign it. <laughs> and you spell with an I, with yeah, a heart. Brandy, like, I and a heart. Yeah. <laughs> I used to. But now, like, now, what, now look at you. You're just sitting up in your room. Exactly. <laughs> but I, um, so my mom, my, my mom never understood it. And then until she, Brandy was on Dancing with the Stars, I think it was. And my mom was like, oh my God, it's the first time I could see it. Yeah. There's something similar about yeah. like this area. Yeah. Anyways, I don't think I look like Brandy, but I'd always been like, how about Monica? Oh. <laughs> Monica. Or to look like one of the two. Mine. Either one. Let's take. I usually got, as you all know, whoopee. So, mm. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they didn't bad about them, thank goodness. So RuPaul enters and doesn't want anything left unsaid. So the queens are going to kind of dish things out. And I feel like it was just like, they just wanted a drama moment. Like I, think, I feel like I could have done something better, made it part of a... Uh, a challenge or something like remember we we're kind of I was kind of suggesting that what if they had like a construct three looks with like three queens and like yeah. make it co something like that to make them all work together and make something organic but like this powwow this like reunion episode I didn't really I didn't really get that what do you guys think yeah I think it was way a, a missed opportunity if anything um but we did get some resolutions which was nice we got to find out a little bit uh we get to see reactions of the queens finding out about some of the drama, at least. Well, yeah. India apologizes to Derek, which I thought was, um, I, 
a long time coming. A long time coming for sure. I, I like that Derek accepted the apology. Um, I don't know if they're going to be friends in Vegas after this, but I want to like India, but I just, I actually just don't. She doesn't, she doesn't yeah. seem genuine. She just seems really smarmy. I agree. Mm. Uh, oh, uh, who, who said it? Thank goodness no eggplants were harmed. I chuckled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a cute moment. <laughs> Who said it though? Do you remember? No. I think it was Mariah. Oh, Mariah. Yeah, she must. She might have said that. I liked her. Um, they call out Angina. What do you guys think about that? I, I mean, that's that's it's it's warranted because I mean, Derek wanted to be there, and it's just it sucks when someone wants to like quit, and someone's like, oh, I uh, I don't know if I want to be here. I'm not mentally here. Derek wanted to be there. Mariah wanted to be there, and like. Yeah. I would have loved to see more Derek on the season just for one more episode and have Angina go first. So it just, it's, it, it needed to be called out just one last time. And those queens needed to get their little, uh, they need to get their feelings up because I feel bad for Mariah a little bit. Absolutely. And I thought she it was warranted for Mariah for sure to be mad at Mayhem's elimination because same thing, she really wanted to be there and I, I was obviously really disappointed when both Angina and Mayhem were like, okay, I've done all I need to do. Like, someone else is there. Like, I, I'm not into that. If you're on a competition show, like, play to win. And so yeah. I would have been pissed if I were Mariah because she didn't, when she went out, it wasn't, she didn't do something that was that terrible. Like, it was, it was just like, oh, okay, someone was a little bit better than you this episode. And so for the fact that Mayhem didn't want to be there, I would have been pissed. Would you have been pissed, Jojo? I would have been fucking furious. Are you kidding me? But yeah. I mean, look, looking at it, I don't know. It's, I feel like they could have all been interchangeable the first like five eliminations anyway. True. So it's true. Um, it's like, so it's Alexis- not like we lost out on, we didn't lose out on something, no, on no. an incredible competitor because- No. Of, 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 well, maybe Derek, cause he, you know, I uh, think that uh, maybe, anyways. <laughs> so Alexis brings up that situation again and she kind of, um, you know, they kind of, focus on mayhem for this kind of being like did we see did i say this to you or whatever and me watching this as an outsider mayhem looked a little bit like she was lying to me or just you know playing with the truth a little bit i feel as though the discussion happened i feel as though they could have just been able to say like, oh yes, we totally were just talking about that like as an, as an opportunity to maybe take out Shay, but we're never really doing it. Or say something like that because I feel like the conversation did happen because I think yeah. Mayhem was lying there. And then, yeah. And, yeah, and then Mayhem- Or of, fibbing, fibbing. Yeah, but Mayhem also kind of talks about the fact that she did make that deal. So I don't know whether or not she wanted to say, oh, we had that deal right away. So she might've been like, no, I don't think that that was what it was. And like, oh, 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 uh, 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 and like falling over her words. But no, I think that that deal she made and they cut to it, I think that's a, that was a key thing. I mean, everyone looked at when that happened. I think India exaggerated the claims of campaigning, but I think that spirit was there between the three of them, that they could do something together. There are three votes. Same yeah, so maybe India was like taking it as more, maybe like, or you know, that's what she just assumed from the whole situation. But it was never like, okay, hands in, everybody, we're all voting for Shay. Like, let's go. Like, maybe that wasn't fully solidified, but I think that it was an ins ins assumed intention yeah. that um, India was playing it out as though it was factual. Um, but I think it was fact though. Like, I think, I think her assumption was correct. Yeah. I think mean, like, she's a fan of the drama. We've seen that, we've heard that. The fact that she like was making all these things, like all these accusations and all saying all these things on, on Instagram and on social media stuff. Like she's a fan of the drama. So she probably, and she's grasping at straws in that moment, you know? I still think that she, I think she, I think she believes that she was correct, but she did apologize for stirring anything extra up and, you know, maybe she should have, but no, no, she wanted the drama. She yep. brought it up to the surface and they were able to say like, well, if it wasn't confirmed, we didn't go around and campaign to everybody. Right. So we didn't really mean that we're going to be doing it, but like, <laughs> basically. <laughs> 
<laughs> that might be like the, one of the best moments of that season. Is yeah, the it's, it's one I'll remember. We're all gonna be. Oh, is our new our new thing like? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote it. down here oh. as like I thought Derek was hot. I think Derek's hot. I think Derek's hot too. Oh. Yeah, I think oh. I'm like, oh, you're cute. That little Derek. moment where he's like, I'm not a part of the drama, so I just started to relic in it. Is it relic? Is it relish? <laughs> yeah. It's relish. I'm like, that's the cutest <laughs> I've ever seen him look. I'm like, oh, he is cute. So they're going to be doing a little dance number to RuPaul's new song, Clap Back. Um, and so Todrick is going to be teaching them some choreo. How do you guys feel about seeing Todrick back on the runway? I People are like up and down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Todrick's. I think he brings something creative. I think he knows how to speak to these queens. He's experienced on Drag Race, so he gets the time crunch. He kind of worked with Juju and Cracker at their own levels and then gave Shay the what she can handle and kind of um, a challenge per se. And I know that Shay originally wasn't excited about being as challenged as she was, but she be patient. So. I mean, it's good to be challenged and especially when you can do so well in, in something, you know, just like give it to her so she can thrive for sure. Um, I started, I, I really liked Todrick before he was on Drag Race when he was doing all those videos of like Disney princesses or whatnot like he did so many amazing videos and I thought that he was so creative and so cool and I do feel that he's grown um, up kind of on, dra on Drag Race because I feel in the beginning he was kind of like how um, Jeffrey is right now on Candace Drag Race like kind of not knowing how to give good critique and kind of just being mean and bitchy for whatever reason. I feel like that's how he was in the beginning when he was a little bit more of a permanent um, host and judge. And then now that he's kind of come back and like he's worked with them more, he, I think he's he's become uh, a better judge or a better, you know, champion of these queens. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to see that he's grown and he's more helpful in them achieving success, you know? I liked it. Um, <laughs> I love Juju's line though. She's like, she's like, oh, poor. I'm like, I'm like, she's like, can I just get the claps? Like, why does he get this? Like, the, it's like slap some thighs. <laughs> like, I want to slap some thighs. And she's like, That's I right. get to, I'm put upside down. And I was like, I was laughing. I'm like, yeah. poor Juju. Or when she said, like, what am I feel? I just have one question. What are my feet doing? That made that kill me. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> When she said, what are my No, I, I, I said the next line. Which yeah. part? Yeah. <laughs> All of it. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed there too. I wrote that down, that same yeah. section. Um, yeah, I get lifted in that bitch gets thigh slaps. <laughs> um, what did you think about Blair learning the choreo on the sidelines? It's Blair. She's such a kiss ass. <laughs> I, was, I was that kid in theater school. I knew everyone's lines. Every, when it was the musical or the play, I knew all of them. So... Yeah, I really would have to go. I'm very good. I mean, I did know them as well, but I wasn't like, and five, six, seven, eight, one. Two, you know, I wasn't marking the steps. Like I would learn, I would definitely would learn, but I wasn't making, I wouldn't have made it obvious that like, I could be there? everybody's she understudy. Learning it? She learning it just in case one of them falls? No, you need to replace sure. it. Yeah. Well, maybe just to see how she would do it. Like I would definitely be marking it in my head. I just don't know if I'd be so like obvious about the fact that I was, Marketing we also we also like had the queens join them halfway through the dance, so maybe she did think like, oh, some of these moves will be incorporated in. Yeah, or, yeah, it could be like a a, a chorus being yeah. um, repeated later down the road. So yeah, maybe just to pick up the vibe of yeah. it. Yeah, I, think okay. it was I was like, yeah. I was supportive of that. I'm like, no, good for her. She can, she's allowed to do what she wants. <laughs> it did and she, seem a little brown nosery though. <laughs> yeah, and she was a day away from the finale too. So like, that's such a. She literally was kicked out and then came in the next day to the workroom to do her thing so i i i'm sure there was a little bit of a a sore spot there yeah so <laughs> <laughs> todrick though definitely made the routine harder <laughs> for shay um i would have liked to see well, actually, I liked the whole of the finished product, but it just, it seemed as though, like, Shay wasn't going to be able to get it, and I was, like, worried that him making it harder for her, that she would have, wouldn't excel. Like, I wasn't sure what, what they were painting there. I'm like, oh, my God, is this how she loses the crown again? I'm like, I'm like, no, I really hope that she, I mean, I figured she would, but I guess, like, 
please just make this be a little bit of a misdirect. Yeah. I think they were doing that on purpose. Yeah. They wanted us to feel worried for Shay. And I also wanted Shay to take that friggin' hat off. Yeah. Because the hat kept falling. I'm like, it's, uh, it's such a distraction. Just take it off. It's happened twice. Yeah, why do you need the hat? I know. I didn't know why she needed the hat. Or it's not to... cold in that studio. They're fine. <laughs> so they all went on the What's the Tea podcast mm-hmm. with uh, Michelle mm-hmm. and Rue. Um, and they kind of talked about how their drag has changed and what the future of drag is. Um, who was that with? Those was, was that with? That was with Shay went first, correct? No, I think Shay went last. No, yeah. no, Shay went, no, sorry. It was with Juju. Yeah, Juju was first. Um... I really, I liked seeing them in their, these moments, especially kind of like, you know, bantering a little bit back and forth with both of them. Like, I like seeing them not feeling so stressed, it seemed. It's like they just kind of got to settle in and be themselves a bit. Um, what was, oh, so Juju told a story, though, about how she was at a big box store in the States and, like, someone came up to her and said that like, you know, people in their family like yeah. watched her and and were inspired and like, you know, it's something that they do as a family together. So I, I was really happy that she's received some really good moments. Like, I think that she's a really great person. I think that she's a great role model. I feel like she's experienced a lot of different things that people can look up to her for yeah. and, and guidance or whatever. So I think that it was, it was great that she's had some encouraging feedback from some fans. Well, she was from a straight guy, too. Like, it yeah. Like, it said, hey, you look at my wife and kid, and, like, hold it, stay right here. And she's just like, yeah, great. Whatever. Probably checking them out. <laughs> so, Cracker's only been doing gra- drag since 2010. That's not, that's pretty, actually, it's 10 years. That's pretty long, but, um, I, I think that, okay, Cracker is really, she's great. She's on my team, so I wanted her to do well. I wanted her to win. But she does, in my opinion, still has, like, a barrier. Like, it's it's always, there's always, the mask is always on. Yeah, it's and, a facade there. Yeah. And I think that that's one of the reasons why she didn't end up winning. And maybe that's why also that I don't really care for her drag that much is because I don't feel, I don't see the spark bark necessarily um so maybe it's because she's you know only been doing it for 10 years or whatnot or her her history or background but i don't know i don't know if she's ever gonna break through from it i mean i think this is probably her last time on drag race right probably her last time competing she went out with a bang in my opinion um and i I kind of like the story arc for cracker she was she was considered a mean girl at times, but she was also considered someone that was like trying to remain positive and working super hard. And then the battle of being inside her head and then finding the light in that sense. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I much preferred Cracker this season. Oh, yeah. To her initial season. Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Would I, would I go to a Cracker show? 100%. Yes, I would. Yeah, I would. For sure. I would. Well, I, she, I, she won three challenges too. So she won. She got some money, you know, she wants yeah. some, like, some money and, like, you know, the notoriety. I don't think she even won a challenge in the season, in her season. She won the makeover challenge. Oh, okay. That was, Sorry. Like, that was, like, towards the end, right? Yeah. And yeah. then she got kicked out the next week. Did she get yeah. um, I don't remember which part of the episode where they talked about it. This might have been at What's the Tea, but you know, when she went with her, her mom when she was younger and go to the store and see like a really cool outfit and they're like, okay, pick your favorite outfit then we're going to make it at home. I think that's a little bit of an endearing moment for Cracker. And I think she needs to maybe work on that part because I do like relating to her emotionally um, and maybe she needs to go there. Like, you know how they were talking about Shay, like use the fact that you, you lost that moment as part of like, yeah, the trauma. You're, 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 yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> I feel like maybe that's what I need from Cracker is like, I need to feel more of her story through her work in, for, in order for me to relate to her instead of it just being a cookie cutter, <laughs> Cracker cutter um, version of a queen, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I need some more authenticity from her. And Dre, so how's drag, Dre, Shay, how's drag changed for her? Um, so, you know, she talks obviously about like, she put a lot of pressure for, on herself from season nine and to do better and that she was really upset that she wasn't able to win and show her, her family that she won. Um, how do you think though that, that she's grown since um, season nine? Like for the, uh, well, this whole season we'll say. How do you think Shay's grown? 
I think um, <clears throat> I think she said it best herself when she said that her her drag is like a tribute to black women, and that she is a proud black woman and wants to um, show what she has inside. Like like more than anything, for Shay, I think it's about the inside for her. She's really good at opening up her heart, being genuine. It, um, we've heard so much about her family's past and the trauma that she faced like after losing season nine and wanting that win um she's incredibly competitive obviously and it means a lot to her so yeah yeah and she was losing the um losing uh losing the family members that's a it's a key thing because you can you can tell that just she's she's more, i found her to be much more grounded and um I think just when she lost as well, um, I think she, although she lost, I think she also won at the same time because so many people reached out and gave her all that love that Shea Coulee is the best. That they wanted to see her on All Stars 5. I think that a lot of people just like reached out. So I think going in, she was like, she had that confidence, but she had that, that fucking power. She wanted that, she wanted that freaking crown. That's, that's well, I mean, I think that it was to prove to herself that she could do it because she does talk a little bit about her inner saboteur, Shanene, that, you know, and we all have that inner critic that we just need to quiet sometimes, allow them to be there, but just be like, hey, okay, we wow. get that you're trying to protect me in this moment, but I am going to be okay. So, re exactly. Relax. And so um, her little end quote was, if you never give up, you can do anything. And I do feel like that is true. Everybody is capable of doing anything. And I, and I, and I think with Shay coming back and wanting to do well, wanting to win it, I think it's, it's also helps quieten that inner saboteur that said that she couldn't do it and was preventing her from winning um, the last time. So I was happy for all these three queens moments with Rue. I think it, it's, it opened their hearts a little bit and we got to see a little bit more of them, which I do enjoy. It makes me like them more. I like it. <laughs> um, so all the girls are getting ready together. So they didn't really make it clear as to the roles of the, the past queens coming on the show. Like, I'm like, okay, they're all getting ready. So are they just all just doing a look? Like, why didn't they, wasn't there just like an announcement? Like, hey, we're just gonna, everybody's gonna do a whole runway show, like something. Yeah. Like, it was I was like, okay. It was, it was left up to us to figure out what was happening. We just took so whatever. We, thrown at us. It's like choose your own adventure. We choose our own storyline. Okay, what do we think <laughs> was the reason for having these queens? What do we think was the reason for the phone call? Do we choose choose A or B? <laughs> Which direction should we go here? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I did like those books when I was growing up, not gonna lie. Me too. Did you oh, read them? Goosebumps, yeah. all that stuff. Yeah. But choose your own adventure was like so fun because like, you'd be like, oh my God, that happens? Oh my God, not doing that. Let me change that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was always thinking like, I was thinking during quarantine, actually, it'd be interesting to maybe do a choose your own adventure Zoom movie that like, you know, if you go down this route of creating a movie, like this would be the outcome. I don't know. I, I didn't fully flush it out like they didn't do with this episode. <laughs> so, um, Angina was being really nice about Jujubee, which I thought was sweet, obviously. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about all the, there was a lot of chit chat that was going on in the when they're getting ready, but I didn't. I think they were now. just they were tr trying to like recap each of them for so like pretty much before the big reveal of of clapback. They really wanted to focus in on each. How, there was like a little grouping of each queen. I'm sure they were told like, "Oh, Angina, if you want to talk about Juju, go for it. You're, you're the you're the old school queens." Is that was the um, phone call? <laughs> that's what the phone call was. It was like, Hello, <laughs> Angina. <laughs> Talk to Juju tomorrow. But it was um, cool how like they all like, but it showed how like those those three were friends. The Juju, um, who was it? Juju Derek. And, and Derek. The fact that the, the three of them were like they were buddies, and like down there, you know, they had to have that Alexis and uh, Shay moment where you know, like, you yeah, know, I, I yeah, I voted you off earlier, but I really hope you, you do well. So it was just like it was just like little redemptions yeah. here and there. Redemption. Tying up with these ends. So Rue comes out on the runway. What do you guys think of her look? Uh, the ginger hair was a little surprising. I, um, like the hair. I haven't seen I haven't seen it in a while on her. 
it was very like it was very season one to be honest she did a lot of ginger hair and that aj and the queen tv show she was ginger for most of that i thought she looked good her dress was nice it wasn't a finale look to me though i said the dress was kind of hideous i don't remember what it looked like right now but i said i loved the rust hair uh, oh it was the copper and purple dress yeah copper and, purple. and I, I do like that combo but it was very much like, oh, this is this is an episode five look, not a finale look to me. Did so. you like it, Pess? Sure it's okay. Oh, yeah. I love the rust hair though. I was like, yeah, I don't know, it looks good to me. Looked good to me. Um, so Juju B, I put that she looked great. Cracker had a big bow and a reveal, and Shay's outfit um, and group looked the best. What do you guys think about them? Yeah, Shay's hair was incredible. That green, that electric green. Um, and I loved her baby hair done, the pony was snatched, everything about the choreo just worked. Her bodysuit was gorgeous. I like the mesh cutouts. Um, I thought Juju was beautiful, but she looked like Juju was like walking out on a Saturday night or something. Um, yeah. I, I thought that Miss Cracker, this was the best that she looked during this episode. And I think that's where she sold who she is the most. Are you talking about in the music video? Like yeah, music in the video. Day, yeah. 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 That's classic practice. She always looks like she comes out of a Megan Trainer all about that bass video. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I definitely was like Shay, though. Like, it looked like a music video. Like, I was like, yes. Like, I thought that the look was just looked so good. Like, um, I thought, obviously, I, I said it already, but Juju looked great, but. And I thought that she, I was surprised how well she ended up doing because she was so hesitant when in the rehearsal. Obviously, I know it's editing, blah, blah, blah. But um, I thought that she really brought it um, yeah. compared to maybe how well I thought she was going to do. Um, she definitely has performance energy. And like when it's time to perform, she does a good job. Um, Cracker, you know, I liked the bow and I liked the kind of, you know, 60s 50s Waitress. 60s house kind of yeah. housewife kind of dress type vibe i liked her sitting on the guys like it was like it was a cracker little show moment but it didn't pop that much for me as much as shay's part popped and yeah. i don't know if it's because the choreography was better i don't know if it was just the look but like it just seemed like the other girls and were all shay's backup dancer like shay looked like the, the star woman. and everybody else were the backups in my opinion. Can we also just talk about the back of dancers for a moment. <laughs> like I like I don't know if I was paying too much attention to what Juju was like looking like, but Yeah, was, that's a, that's yeah. what my partner said. He was like, Can they focus on the guys a little more? Like please <laughs> move her. Back in season nine when they did the um, when it's Shay's and like all them, there's this one dancer that I literally was like, Who is that? His looks were so good and so hot to the point that I had to Google hot dancer in season nine finale dance. And I found out, now I follow him on Instagram and he's great. Ooh, I wonder who it <laughs> is. I can't There's remember that. There's a couple of them that I need to start following on this, like, this past one. I was like, they're all so pretty. I was like, they're all so beautiful. Like, uh, too bad you couldn't like curate your Instagram. Cause like, I don't remember sometimes people that I follow because I'm like, oh, I want to follow them. But like, if they don't pop up on my feed, I won't remember who they are. Like right. you should be able to categorize like who these people okay so this is hot guys group that i'm yeah. like <laughs> you know in, in my instagram just so i could go back and find people because sometimes i'm like well no it's in my gazillion follower or followings um instagram if you do this please uh, give me some royalties for having this very good idea because i think yeah. it's actually very necessary <laughs> mm. um I thought it was funny seeing Britney as the backup dancer for Shay, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Derek Barry, obviously. Yeah. So what do you think about the runway elega eleganza? Um, Derek, I just was mentioning him, came out kind of as an Elsa type five, like not Britney. Uh, I was really happy. Yeah, what's the love yourself and how are you gonna love someone Elsa? That's what, oh. that's, that's, what, that's what they said. That was the line. Okay, I was like, I was like, you uh, you've been waiting to say that one. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jojo, yeah. you were gonna say something? I thought Derek looked great. Um, definitely not what I expected, but wasn't like blown away. Like, oh, that's a finale look. Well, if, I, if she had worn that to the finale as a top three competitor, I'd be like, okay, like 
was nice. Fine, but it was just, it wasn't Britney. And it was just yes. like nice to see him try something else. And it seems that he was a little bit um, so self-conscious about not doing a Britney look, uh, but it was well received I felt and that's what I would have wanted to see him during the rest of the season if he had made it further is just like him doing things that were other than Britney because I think that it's a good start of showing something else and showing something new so hopefully he'll well actually we know that he doesn't because he's in the Vegas promos and he's Britney yeah. <laughs> so I don't think he'll take that to heart but if he ever does that would be cool yeah um what do you think about Angina's newspaper dress it's cute. Yeah, it was a throwback yeah. to her season. It was good. I liked her little fascinator on top. She's always has a. I'm fascinated by her fascinators. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. Mariah, her blue orchid gown. I don't remember what it looks like right now. It was. Uh, I mean, I think Mariah always looks beautiful, but it wasn't a showstopper for me. Maybe like, they were told like not to be too showstoppy because you don't want to outshine the other queens. Fuck is this what they were supposed to wear for the finale? Is this their finale look? That I'm not maybe. Sure oh, maybe. I mean, I don't know, but maybe. Like, this is what they're supposed to like. You know, like they do that. What you pack in? Yeah, I'd assume. I'd assume so. Your... Uh, or at least one of the uh, one dress that they had for a formal moment or whatever. Like they might have yeah. had multiple options. Maybe. Um, what do you think of Mayhan's pantsuit? I don't remember it. Me neither. Okay. Was it? Wait. Did it have like a train on it? Was it pink? It, it had like it, it was like it was a pantsuit for sure. So what color? Had, like um, like a burnt orange. So it's like salmony pink. It was shiny though, right? It was shiny. Is it? Is it like the the, the triangle behind you? No, no. It was more like darker, like more burnt. I don't remember at all. Sorry, Mayhem, that might mean something. Um, did you love India's jiggly boobs? Always. <laughs> and, and she loved them too. Yeah. Like, you can tell yeah, that she just, she just loves putting on those boobs and just being like, I'm a lady. And like, I don't know, it's just, it's like, uh, I don't know. Are guys really that curious about boobs? Yucky. <laughs> you said yucky? No, I just like I, I they freak me out. They freak me, they freak me right out. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, love, I, I like I I I love looking at a woman. Women are beautiful and I but but just like the boobs! Ah! Ah! I always I always had to cover my eyes whenever I watch movies, so you know. oh, oh by the way, Showgirls, I have started to watch it. I I couldn't order it on iTunes because I was gonna buy it. So I found a link for it. So I watched the first 10 minutes of it and I was like, yeah, then I fell asleep last night. So I was like, okay. But I've seen her get into the car. I've seen her get to Vegas. I'm rooting for her. You know me? <laughs> I pulled that, knife on that, guy, that knife on that guy and I'm like, oh, just yeah. so, yes, it's, 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 <laughs> so, so good. I can't wait to hear actually how you think about it. So yeah, when we do Canada's next week. Yeah, that's about showgirls. I should just do my review. Love it. I mean, <laughs> There's, there's a lot of people that love showgirls, so we probably get a little occult following there for sure. <laughs> for sure, girls. Um, Alexis striped dress. Just I, another. Like, I wrote these things down with the, the thoughts that it would just jog my memory, and it's Me not too. jogging my memory. I remember she like looks like Alexis would look. Yeah, I think Isn't Alexis like always hair? looks good. Yeah, I, 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 I rarely see Alexis and think, wow, she looks bad. Yeah. So, but it wasn't, it, if it doesn't blow me away, I'm not going to remember it. I didn't, I don't. Um, but I thought that Blair's was memorable. I thought that yeah. her hair crown looked gorgeous. I thought she looked a really, 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 really yeah. beautiful, really, really good. And it definitely, she definitely was, in my oh, opinion, yeah. higher, like, more fantastic than the other queens um, so I'm, that's probably why she was last you know, they didn't go in order did they go in order oh yeah they yeah. did yeah. okay and do you know what I really do feel that it kind of went up with like the quality of looks yeah it totally did so yeah I loved her hair crown I thought she looked gorgeous I thought that she she did herself proud and she did be proud mm -hmm. a little Blair 
Um, so Gigi, Gigi comes out in, oh, she looks so good. Yeah. I re- see, I remember this, that bodysuit and like the, the nail th- and the, everything. She looked like a goddess. I mean, that's what yeah. she was going for, but it, she, it really worked. Yeah. And it was a look that was a little bit different from what Jujube usually does. Um, I really liked her stepping in that direction of like, like a goddess. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was great. I like the backstory too. When she was saying how like when she was a kid, she'd always like look at this like image of this person and it wasn't whether or not it was male or female. They just like looked at it and that just was like, she wanted to capture, like captured that look. Agreed, I loved it. Um, I thought, I I really liked Cracker's look as well. Kind of another nod to her Russian heritage. Um, I didn't love the color though. I didn't, I didn't, I would have preferred it if it was like all white. I mean, maybe that's a traditional color. I'm not sure. I know the style was definitely um, reminiscent of Russian. Like I've seen some Russian, I don't know what I'm looking. Russian doll pearl look. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that look like the the actual people wearing this before, but um, I don't don't remember what the color theme is usually. But I didn't love the pink. What you guys yeah, think? I feel, like, I feel like that's her signature color. Like I feel like she always wears pink. I feel like she always has that little pink number on. So yeah, it's the. I thought she looked great, but I wasn't obsessed with it. I think Juju B looked way stronger. Me too. I like. I was more excited by Juju B's for sure, for sure. And, and then... Shay's. I love Shay's look. I I thought she looked amazing. Like that. It just looked so expensive to me. Yeah. The pink worked for me in this situation. It could be because she has like her skin such a nice dark color, and then like the just the contrast with the pink and like that uh, bulbous the vol- like was, uh, the volume was there it would definitely photograph really gorgeously if like she was doing like some vogue photo shoot with her mm-hmm. and oh i thought it was i thought it looked amazing yeah. balenciaga 1960s gown with her beehive hair i loved it it, it looked like it's red carpet it's ready instagram account or it's it's called rude pause all stars and it's all the kittens cat- yeah and it's just- <laughs> <laughs> you love it. <laughs> they do so many good photos. Really good. Oh, oh my god, that's so cute. It's so funny that you posted that because I wonder. Um, I just saw another thing of cats re- reenacting famous movie scenes. So I'm wondering if it's from that same group or if it's just like. I can't. Yeah. It's so cute. Really <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. Can you send me that that link? I need to follow that. That needs to be in my life. Oh my god, I need to send it to my friend Karen. And they, and they have like, and they have so many followers too. Like it's like a hundred. Yeah, they've been around. They've been around since like season seven. I mean, people love cats doing anything. So Brooklyn Heights cat. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the poor cat's just like, oh, another photo shoot. <laughs> so adorable. So the the queens are on the runway, the final three, and Juju thanks Rue. And I think these were all really lovely moments. Rue takes a lot of heat from queens that are not in the show, on the show, saying that she doesn't do enough and that she needs to do more and needs to do this and needs to do yeah. that. And people are always deciding how much more she needs to do. But I... I I think the bottom line is that she started something that's elevated the career of hundreds of queens. Yeah. Hundreds of queens have been able to have a career. And even if they didn't even get on the show, because it's become such a phenomena that it's given them the opportunity to maybe have that be an aspiration to be a, a drag queen that goes around and tours and, pre- and performs, et cetera, et cetera. So mm-hmm. I was appreciative of, of Juju saying thank you to Rue. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. I, think I think they each, they each um, took time to thank Rue. Um, and yeah, you should like you want to crown one of you a winner. I don't think it, I don't know if it was necessarily like here's all of our love and support to you, Rue. But once the bandwagon started with Juju, 
the rest of the You're movie. Like, oh, we're, yeah. better say something. We're, all th- <laughs> we're all thanking her for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, you kind of have to though. Like this, like this one. This woman's about to give you a hundred grand. Yeah. <laughs> like, or, or more. Or more. Who knows? Like so much money. So that's. I would probably thank her too. Yeah. Yeah. Repulse just like just her 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 presence is just every time she laughs, like it's just it, it lightens up the room. She's she's worked so hard to build this career for herself and she's helped her friends along the way. She's like, she's brought her family along. Um, Michelle is, is fantastic as well. Like, and just, they've created this family and they've created all these, like you said, careers for all these people. It's, um, it's nice to see gays helping out the other gays. And it's just nice to see that kind of camaraderie. And mm-hmm. drag queens are not just in a bar at some gay bar, no. Now they're out at on lawns doing dances. They're doing it like Safonda Cox is doing shows on people's lawns because hundred percent. She's definitely football. normalized it as to being something that's not like hidden. It's definitely front and center, and that in itself, the just the eyes and the visibility that it's provided for it to not be a, a, a hidden secret or yeah. you know something that's just going on in a community that you're not a part of. She's really made it accessible and made it like it's not taboo anymore. And I think that that she needs to be commended for that in itself. Like she brought drag to the forefront. So it's not a hidden secret. And I think that that's a really amazing feat. And she'll always have that. Even if there's haters, like she'll always have that. She was the one that brought that to the surface. So I give her some, I give her some snaps for sure. Um, We see the Polaroid of Shay's mom and like, I cried. She thanks Rue, of course, but I cried in that moment as well. Beautiful. Um, sorry, beforehand, Cracker gets a little bit of um, uh, praise from Michelle, saying that she has seen a shift there, and and I think that I think more shift needs to happen for Miss Cracker, in my opinion. But um, I definitely felt that there was a growth with her for this season. Everybody yeah. actually, there was a growth with everybody, for the most part. So. I also got a little teary-eyed when Rue was saying that this was her greatest achievement. I think that she's also recognizing that, you know, she does have this platform and she is helping people. Like, she has helped hundreds, maybe thousands of people in without, without even knowing them. Yeah, and so I think that, you know, she's great. I think she's extremely grateful for what she's been able to provide for people. And I think she loves doing it. And so I support it. I support Rue. Yeah. What else happened? You think it was the most spectacular final three? Was it the most spectacular? Uh, it was an exciting final three. It was the first probably in a long time. Uh, no, I was going to say next, last season, I was kind of okay with anybody winning. So that's two seasons in a row where I was fine with the outcome regardless. Are you talking about I mean, I, No, sorry. I, I meant season uh, 11 or season, season 12. Yeah. Oh. Season 12, I was happy with any of them Even winning. Crystal? And, I mean, I love Crystal, but... Yeah, I was. I would have been happy with Crystal winning. I didn't think it would happen, but... <laughs> happy That's probably it. why you're happy with it. It's like, it's not going to happen, but yeah, if it did, it's okay. It's not going to happen, but if it does, no concern. So do you, what do you think of everybody's season, like, the, from the season, their critiques of, like, all the critiques in general? Like, what do you think about the story arc of everybody? Like, do you think that... Do you feel like everybody's story is done? Do you think anybody's going to be coming back, including the queens that weren't um, in the final three? Like, do you think anybody's coming back? No. No. No? <laughs> Everybody, everybody's buttoned up? I think they're yeah, done. No, I think that, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, I think Juju has proved herself to be that you know, the final three, final three, final three, and just just such a, a nice human being altogether. And, like, funny. And, like, so funny. I just think that, like, she, I, I saw a list of all the winners. Um, I saw a thing where it was like, who would you send home first from all these winners? And I'm like, Juju could easily be one of those people. And I just think that like, I'll speak on behalf of her as on my team. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with how she um, just cruised through the whole thing, just being a friggin' superstar. Just so good. But it seems like she only knows how to get to the final three. She doesn't know how to bring the sparkle to win it. She yeah. doesn't know how to get the crown. 
So I would like to see her level up if she were ever come back and like have just that little bit more. And I think that what it might have been too is for that final lip sync when Rue made everybody lip sync, Shay was the only one dressed for the crown. Yeah. She wore an outfit that would be have been appropriate in. to be crowned in. Absolutely. And I wonder if that was part of like just how it manifested for her that she was dressing to win. The lip sync as a whole, I actually thought each of them were really good. I was having a hard time just focusing on one. But I think the fact that Shay, A, the wig, was an obvious reference to season nine. And I was, I, I wasn't sure if she would do a t- like some sort of reveal. And I'm kind of glad that she didn't like have to rely on a gimmick, but she should have been prepared with a gimmick. She lost because of a gimmick. So I expected some sort of stuff, even if it was a fake reveal, even if she took off the wig and the exact same wig was underneath, <coughs> something. Or just like it. her, like her bald head. Yeah, <laughs> even that. I, I did kind of expect something, but I was more surprised about how Miss Cracker looked so basic. I hated so what she basic. was wearing. I and didn't like her hair. The cones I didn't get. Like the powder what reveal. Was, was that a reveal? What was that supposed to be? Smoke. I, I don't know. Out of those things. I don't know if it was a fail. It fail. It was a fail for sure. But it was just powder like hanging out of her boobs, out of her like Madonna <laughs> cones. Yeah, that was a maybe something that needed to have been practiced one more sparks. time. I thought it was going to like sparks, and I sure. thought it was going to like. I mean, Aquaria did that season ten, so wouldn't have been wouldn't have been brand new. But it and been she's a copycat of Aquaria. Ooh, right. That would have been fair. That would have made sense if she started doing a little show off. I mean, maybe she was doing it as a nod to her. Com- I'm just I mean, kidding. What, what she wants some, some dead butterflies falling out of her cones. Like somebody mentioned that was that maybe on another podcast. Somebody said that like oh, it would have been better if it was at least dead butterflies. I mean, <laughs> it's true. That is the ultimate fail. That is <laughs> so Asia. gross. Um, I thought that Juju B stood out the least, to be okay. honest. Um, yeah, her boob reveal flop. I just, I felt it was Shay's show, personally. Like, I know that you said they all shined in their moments, but I felt that I was looking to see what Shay was doing. I, I felt like she was being, like, interesting with, like, you know, how she was interpreting the lyrics. Um, I don't remember the song, though. Do you remember what song it was? You know, Jeanette Monet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I love the song. I thought it was a good song. I thought it was a song that everybody would know well enough and, like, can get into that groove. It wasn't like Reba McIntyre or something, uh, you know, something, was it Reba? That was their yeah, song, Fancy. Fancy. Yeah, it wasn't a song like that. It was something that everybody can get into. It was a song you can do tricks to or you can just perform the lyrics. So like, no matter, like whatever kind of queen you are, you can either do some crazy acrobatics and splits or you can deli- like stand there and deliver it. And I like that Shay was delivering it for a while, even in one spot and then kind of broke loose and and like, cause it has like the, na, 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 na. like it has like layers in them. Na, 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 na. Like it has good stuff to play around with as a performer. And so I thought it was a great song. Um, and I thought everybody shone for the most part, but I didn't think that GGB stood out as much as I would have wanted her I would, to. I would tell you to watch it again. Cause okay. I actually, I actually think you'd be like, oh, okay. She's doing pretty good. Cause there was moments where I was like, oh, look at her. Like I'm watching. Well, maybe Gigi. I wasn't watching her. Yeah. And which it would head. be not standing out. Yeah, I fair, want, fair. yeah, I'm watching this with Shay. She had like that with Sam. I, I struggled. I was watching all of them. I had, a, I had actually had a problem. I'm like, so I don't maybe know. you were choosing good, that because I was just, I was just watching it to watch it, and I was pretty much just looking for Shay right. and watching what Shay was doing. And so you were probably trying to be very cognizant of everybody and what everybody was doing. And so if I went back and watched just Juju B, then I'd probably obviously not feel Either. as though she just didn't stand out as much. So. Yeah. No, but, okay. go ahead. Did, did you guys watch the show um, after? Like, I, I knew, I found out who won already and then watched the show. So, did you guys watch it knowing, not knowing who was going to Yeah. Um, I knew for Canada's Drag Race because I saw your cocktail. I was like, okay, well, I guess uh, that's what happened. <laughs> Pardon? Sorry. No, it's okay. I, mean, I was like, it hasn't been 24 hours yet. I'm just about to watch it. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> noted now that it's like a note for me, don't post anything until, I, yeah, it was just one of those things. Like, I mean, it's, it wasn't a big deal. I had a feeling that she was probably gonna to be going quite soon, um, but I was just trying to avoid things. I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna go on Twitter. I'm not gonna go right. on this, like, and I don't, it just, I think it popped up on Facebook and I was like, and I just was like, when I saw like, I was like, ah, I closed the screen. I'm like, I already saw what the cocktail was. I'm like, yeah. do it. <laughs> I, I wasn't spoiled. Oh, I, also have, I also did post Lemon's cocktail. So I'm like, I haven't, so I just, I, I was I was just hoping that it was just you posting all the cocktails, oh. but it was my it was my my I was like okay probably that's what's gonna happen. Um, I wasn't mad about it, but I just was like, rah, yeah. um, and what did I know with that? I think one? you I think you watched li Friday Live, Chantal. Yeah, I, I yeah watched. I watched Friday Live. So did I know in advance? No, no. I sure. was like I was like a half an hour. 40, 40 minutes behind, but I just stayed off my phone. I was like, I just don't pick up, I, I just try not to pick up my phone during. I, I, was, I was too busy like with, with work and doing work stuff, but also I like, I saw something with Juju and I went, Juju won? I was like, at first I was like, cool, cool, I won. <laughs> like, I won my pick, my team yeah. won, okay, cool. And then also I said, yay, Team Shay. And I was like, oh, all right, okay. And then so watching this, I was like, just, I was honing in on Shay's performance during the that was the key thing. Um, so the guy that does this little streaming, so we'll watch it all on Zoom together and then like chat about it to, during the commercials. And so he was just like texting back and forth with a friend of his, like when we're like, okay, is everybody ready? Everybody gone to the bathroom? Like, are we gonna start streaming it now? And he's just texting with his friend. He's like, oh my God, my friend just told me who, who won. I was like, that's so annoying. He's like, oh, I didn't know you had to watch it yet. He's like, I'm about to watch it right, right now. now. And so he didn't tell us, but uh, he got spoiled. I thought it was, that's pretty kind of annoying because it was like the same day of it. It was like 20 minutes later. Like it doesn't come out on Crave until about 9.30. So that's usually when we start streaming it. And so, yeah, it was unfortunate for him, but I don't think I was spoiled. No, but I had a feeling that it was going to be Shay. But especially when I saw that outfit, I was like, there's no way that they're going to not crown her in that outfit. Yeah, she no was. Way. Perfection. No way. So she does it. Yeah. Shay wins. Jojo, you are on fire, huh? Are you just, like knowing who to pick or what? Uh, I mean, I think it was obvious. As soon as the cast was released, I thought Shay's going to win this. Um, and maybe, maybe a little bit more so like with how the process was happening. I was a little more nervous for her because it wasn't just her doing great and Bruce choosing her to win. Um, but I had, I had faith that she would, I, I mean, I said it three weeks ago, they could have crowned Shay and we'd all be happy and we kind of knew that's what was going to happen. So it was not, it wasn't a big surprise or reveal, but I mean, she won $130,000. That's right. pretty, like Canadian, that would be like 170 or yeah. a little bit more. Like Bebe, Bebe was probably at home like, wow, she won $105,000 more than me <laughs> season one. Yeah. Right? I mean, big you know, difference. So long time ago. So, the, you know, inflation yeah. is going to yeah, a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. Um, how tall is Shay? Because she looked tiny next to RuPaul. I don't know. I've always thought of Shay as pretty tall. Me too. Maybe she was, she wore um, a lower heel to dance in? No. Maybe. And maybe Ru bro, bro, wore a higher heel. But, like, I felt like the, the height difference was, like, big. Big, yeah, maybe, big, big. I don't know. So Shay's little tagline is, my name is Shay Coulee. I didn't come to slay. I came to win! <laughs> and that she did. That she did. Oh, I love when people come to win. She did yeah. come to win. And I'm really happy that she got crowned. She has her redemption story. She has some money. I think she's going to do great with it. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with the outcome, even though she wasn't on my team. It's okay. She can be on all of our teams. We all wanted her yeah. first. We all wanted we all to win. We did. To be honest. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about Untucked or like, is it over? I didn't watch it. I didn't okay. Watch it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then that's it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that is fine. Okay. Yeah. Done. Done. I thought it was a, it was okay season. Um, maybe if they had some more 
wows. Like if they had some more Shea Coulees, people that we were all would be clamoring for to, to be our first draft pick. Like it might have been more uh, interesting, but we seemed to pretty much know what was going on. Like if I'm gonna look back and see the order that we picked everybody, and let's see if it's reverse, pretty much reverse order to how people <laughs> left. You I won't know? be surprised. Because yeah. like my last pick was Derek. Like uh, yeah, it's probably we probably knew how the season was pretty much gonna go. Maybe couple back like maybe we thought india would have gone earlier maybe no yeah, even, we didn't pick india at all no yeah, yeah. she was never, literally not chosen so like, she did I better for on, sure on second i picked on john a second and then i picked mariah and i was like that was my team and there wasn't that many people to pick from and yeah, yeah, yeah. i just i'm tired of them calling seasons all stars without all stars so please step it up rue and you know if for all stars season six like make these people be like top three only yeah. or something like i need to see the people that nearly won because i want to see more hunger i don't want to see angina's like you know i'm going to throw in the towel here i don't want to see ma'am throwing in the towel i want them all have been super close to the crown and it, it was not it was they just snatched yeah snatched yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um away from them so that would be my ideal version of uh, an all-star is seeing people that were really close so yeah. hopefully that happens yeah fingers crossed Till then. That's it. Until then. It's going to be like a year from now, probably. Who knows what's going to happen yeah. to this world from well, now until then. Yeah, we're, we're, we, have that, we have that other show coming out, that, like that Vegas one. I'm in. It's Done. like, we'll watch that for sure. Yeah, I think it's it's going to be airing the same day, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's probably, Fridays. Yeah. Probably. Um, down to watch it. We can maybe squeeze it in after um, Canada, or we can do something separate, depending on how long it is. Is it an hour, you think? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's probably probably an hour. And I think it's just all the backstage. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited to see it. So I think the trailer made I was in. Who the heck is uh, Miss Vanji making out with? Is it Cameron Michaels? Yeah. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I want to see them making out. I remember seeing him like kissing somebody, and I as I couldn't tell who it was. Um, and then someone told me that was um, it was Cameron Michaels, and I'm here for that because you you have a crush on him as a boy, right? Yes. Pez on on Danji or on Cameron? Cameron. I thought Pez had a crush on Cameron. On, on Danji more. Oh. On Danji more. I would. I would. Yeah. Okay. I, but it's it's I've seen some clips between uh, Cameron Michaels and like Cameron Michaels actually speaks a lot. It seems like yeah, and he's like clapping back at a lot of. Um, uh, Asia O'Hara, so like they're they're really good friends, but their banter is like almost like are they fighting? Are they friends? So I'm excited to see a little bit more Cameron Michaels. And I remember Cameron Michaels even saying, "I'm not cool enough to be on All Stars," or "I'm not popular enough to be on All Stars." That's that's, that's I not. Mean, I like, I don't know what I don't know what the scrutiny is for to be on All Stars. I haven't figured it out yet. But Cameron I, Michaels, whatever you think it is, it probably isn't it. Was not a, a lip sync assassin. You should have been a lip sync assassin. I expect a Cameron, yeah. Or Trinity. Well, Cameron did like five in a row. So Cameron's it's a lip sync assassin in my books. Anywho. Well, it's been a slice. We made it through to the end. Uh, thanks, guys, for hanging out with us. Please subscribe right down below. Hit watch that Canada's like button. Drag race. Watch Canada's Pardon? Drag Race. Yeah, watch Canada's Drag Race. Woohoo, all of her friends are on it. Uh, ring that bell so you'll be notified every time we have a new live episode or a new episode. Hang out with us, comment, talk to us. We love to hear it. So hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> Bye. <Absolutely. laughs>